guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be illustrating a young moon. I noticed that today should be a young moon so well I decided to do one in our illustration and first I drew the I guess a young moon and then I added a flower just first drew in the center of the flower and then the petals. All of the materials and supplies I will be using for this illustration are listed in the description box. So if you want to check something out, you can find it definitely there. Also yesterday I really wasn't happy with how my drawing and painting illustration ended up looking and today, well, I guess it was a completely different thing. I had so much fun doing this illustration and just scribbling and doodling onto my paper. And I guess this was very, very fun. And at the end, I was very, very happy how it turned out. So I do encourage you to try this one because you will see how fun it is and how actually simple it is and how you can just play around. And for the insides of the moon, I decided to add only the ink. And you can see that I did not go outside of my borders of the young moon. I've just added some swirls, then some leaves, some dots. And you can definitely add whatever you like to the insides of the moon, whatever doodle you want. That's just up to you. They don't have to be exactly the same as mine. And I guess, as I said, I do encourage you to try, try, try this one. I also added a couple of leaves and some doodles on top of them. A little bit more of the swirls. You can draw in some flowers or whatever foliage you like or just an abstract shapes, maybe some uh, squares, circles, as I said, whatever you like. Then also I did wanted to add a little bit more of the details to my flower. Flower is going to be the only thing I will be painting, coloring on this uh, illustration. So I won't be adding any color to the moon and to the doodles inside the moon, but only the flower. And I've added a bit of the ink to the petals, especially at the top part, at the edges. I've added a little bit darker ink, some shading there and some veins also and the center of the flower a little bit more of the ink i do want that part to be the darkest and you can see that i did do quite detailed inking on my flower and when i was happy with how it lo all looked i decided to use for the flower some blue this is a blue uh, actually winter blue from my winter collection and I did want it to center of the flower to paint it to be painted with that blue and also used warm red from the winter set to pay to for the reds and I added those reds at the top of my petals. So I I just loved this combination. I just fell in love with it. That blue, deep blue and that warm red. Yeah, I loved it. For the folds, the parts of the flowers, the petals that are folded inside, I will also be using blue. Same blue as I used for the center of my flower. And you can see I did leave a tiny bit of space in between my blue and my red. I left it white for the highlights. I just painted the edges of the petals and also just the central part of the petals. A little bit of the black just to make some darker parts where I did add the most ink a little bit even darker. This is white and I've added a little bit of the white to the center and then some splatters with just a clean water and on top I will be splattering again that same blue, winter blue, I used for the flower and a little bit of the black splatters. I also added some details with the Posca pen. This is a fine tip Posca pen I've been, I've been using for also my previous illustrations. 
a little bit of the black at the edges at the corners of the petals just to make a I guess more distinction between each petal and I wrote in the day's date it is day 25 of October and then I also decided to add a bit more of the white splatters and I was looking at it and I guess the ink work in on my moon was just too too light I wanted to add a little bit more of the black so I've painted also added ink to some of the leaves and also added a bit more dots and some a little bit bigger dots and with that I'll be finishing off this illustration and of course this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really do encourage you to try this one. I promise it will be super fun. And I guess if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. There are many tutorials there, so I'm definitely sure you'll find some, something for yourself. And also real-time videos, tutorials for the Inktober are available for my channel members. There is a link in the description box if you find out if you want to find out a little bit more about the membership. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!